What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Too Far Out TV YouTube channel. My name is Asteroid Austin. And I know it's been a while since I created some videos, but I'm back with it. I have some uh, affirmations to share with you guys on helping create your reality, helping you manifest your dreams. And I have six affirmations here that are going to help you get jump started in this process. So I hope to share these with you. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below or give this video a like and share it with your friends if you think that they'll be interested too. So first I wanna say that starting off with manifestation may be kind of tricky. Sometimes we don't exactly know what we want. Sometimes we're trying to figure out, figure it out. And you know, I know for me personally, it was kind of hard to pinpoint the exact things that I wanted to create in my life. You know, my, I'm pretty indecisive. I'd be like, oh, I want to do this. And then I'm like, oh, well, I want to do this. And and I want to do this too. You know, and it was hard for me to just stay focused on one thing while I was trying to create. So these affirmations are going to help with that. They're also going to help you clearly visualize the thing that it is that you're desiring. And to back up for a minute, it's okay to want to create all of those different things. In fact, you can create all of those things. We don't have to stick to just one situation or one topic, but it's easier to move into one direction and flow in that direction for a little bit while we're staying focused and staying direct with that manifestation while we widen up the, the playing field, so to speak, and create more things in our life, okay? So again, these these man I'm sorry these affirmations are gonna help us with our manifestation uh, techniques so the first one I have here is from Florence Kovalshin and it says all obstacles now vanish from my pathway doors fly open gates are lifted and I enter my kingdom of fulfillment under grace this one's really powerful and basically this is just saying that there's no more obstacles on my pathway I can see clearly what it is that I want to get to or if there has been something holding me back be it a, a limiting belief or a situation in the real 3d world that seems to just be keeping me held back or I'm struggling with it this is going to help break that free so I can see past the barrier okay another one is from a guy that I found on YouTube um i'll link his channel in the description um his name is rodriguez joseph rodriguez that's what it is i've learned a lot from him um this affirmation says i possess infinity within and for me this is just saying that all timelines all realities are available to me all potential realities are available to me now I can go in any direction that I like. But for me personally, again, it's easier for me to take one path down a road than try to go to this path and then jump to this path and jump to this path and and try to do uh, work on each different situation. And that's just for me personally. Maybe you guys can multitask like that. For me, I can only think of like one thing at a time. I gotta stay focused, man. <laughs> That's why I keep meditating because it just helps me stay grounded and in position and in the present moment. The next one I have here, I created just this morning and it says, I clearly picture what my future looks like. You know, I've, I've been struggling with trying to visualize exactly what it is that I wanna create in this life. What do I want to do? What do I want to create? What do I, how can I help the people around me? I want to impact the world in some way. How can I do that? Well, with questions like that, I'm not going to get very far because I'm training my subconscious mind to, to just question everything. Why is this happening? Why, why can't I think of what I want to do? Like, what am I going to do? You know, and like, you might get an answer eventually, but for me to directly say to myself, I can clearly picture what I want to create. I can clearly picture what my future looks like. This is going to allow me to manifest even stronger because I'm going to clearly be able to visualize during meditation or 
during my manifestation time, or I'm sorry, during my affirmation time, like in the morning and before bed, I can clearly picture what I'm saying, the affirmations that I'm speaking into the universe. I can clearly picture them, and that's going to give me, uh, like, a stronger, a stronger outcome. Now, also remember to put feelings behind your affirmations and to visualize them. This is what's going to bring it into fruition, okay? The next one I have is also mine that I wrote this morning. And I guess none of these are mine. I didn't make up words, but I just put these ones together. It says... I love creating from my heart, okay? And I wrote this one because it makes me feel like what I'm creating comes from my heart chakra. It comes from the love that I have in my life. That's gonna amplify my love while I'm creating. It's gonna pull from my heart. It's not gonna pull from my own logic and reason of what I think should happen. It's gonna pull from God's infinite mind okay it's gonna pull from just exactly what it, it it's supposed to be like exactly what i'm supposed to have because it comes from my heart you see what i'm saying and anything that we love naturally is like our natural desires we move towards them they're already fulfilled okay we just have to go through the journey basically but they're already fulfilled I also learned this from Joe Rodriguez, that my desires and fulfillment are one, okay? And they're one because everything is already finished in creation. The next one that I have is, my intentions are direct and pure. Now, the reason I wrote this one is because if I intend to move forward on something, I want them to be direct intentions and pure, full of love. I want what I'm creating to have reason or meaning behind it, so to speak. And I know that's kind of counterintuitive with the last one that I just said, but if I'm putting in my full intentions into something, I want my intentions to be top notch. I want them to be um, exactly what it is that i'm trying to say like i say things for a reason the things that i'm saying have a, a particular meaning right i don't want to say something but mean something else because that's going to confuse our subconscious mind we need to know exactly what we want to manifest and say exactly what it is that we want to get and we also want those to be pure. We don't want to have selfish motives while we're creating. We don't want to just create something that's just going to benefit us and it's not going to benefit anybody else. Because then you're really taking from other people. Okay? Now, the last one that I have here is also from Joe Rodriguez. And it says, reality works the way I think it does. It happens because I want it. It happens because I desire it. And people know what I mean. Now, I like that last part, especially because if I'm having direct and pure intentions and I'm putting out my energy in a way of this is what I want to create universe and maybe it bumps it like that, that thought stream bumps into somebody. I want them to know what I'm talking about, too. OK, there is one mind in the universe and we're all connected to it. So if my stream of energy runs into somebody else, we should both know what's happening. We should both know what I'm trying to say so that the creation can come out more naturally and more fulfilled, like more graceful, so to speak. Okay. And then the first part of this uh, affirmation is saying reality works the way I think it does. It happens because I want it and it happens because I desire it. Now, this is going to allow things to unfold naturally for us our natural desires to just unfold, things that we think about are the things that we want to happen in life, okay? Hopefully we're not thinking about things that are gonna drag us down or hurt ourselves or hurt other people. If we're thinking about things that are beneficial to ourselves in the grand scheme of things, then we want those things to unfold in a natural and harmonious way for the benefit or benef <laughs> to benefit everybody. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So, so hopefully this video helped you in some way. 
again, the intention of these affirmations is to just kind of get us jump started in the creation process. It's going to help us unlock our mind in a way that like reminds us that our affirmations do work. The things that we think about are coming into creation. They are coming to life for us. We just have to give them time. So we want to have pure, honest, unselfish, and loving motives. The four absolutes. If you know, you know. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're interested to see more videos like this. And I'm, I plan to keep coming around. I'm pretty busy these days, but I'm sure I can find time to make videos at least once a week for you guys. So thank you again so much for watching. I love all of you. Peace out.